Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Dora, Alabama, and I am here with Tim Hollis. The, what is the official name? <laughs> what is the official name of the museum? It is the Hollis. I just call it the Hollis Museum. The Hollis Museum. Have a name. <laughs> a lot it's of the back of my house. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the back of his house. Now, a lot of people will often ask me, you know, where I find some of the locations um, you know, when I travel, and um, as far as like old time roadside attractions, um, this man has written books, uh, Dixie Before Disney, and the Smoky Mountain. What's the Smoky Mountain book? The, uh, the Land of the Smokies. Land of the Smokies. So these are like old. The, 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 about thirty others. <laughs> <laughs> about thirty others. So I need to catch up and get the rest. But I have used a lot of his books as research material for some of the old places that I've been able to track down. So I'm very excited to be here to meet Tim and to see this amazing collection. Let's check this out. Take any route you want to because there's stuff on every aisle and overhead. People I definitely get to look up. <laughs> definitely remember this <laughs> yeah. as a kid. What's this, this Flintstones? Yeah, it was a little a little uh, Mark's play set. <laughs> This is how this is how Tinkerbell looked after she flew into a window like a bird. You see, <laughs> she kind of got a little whiplash there, I believe. What's happened to her head there? <laughs> are these Moldoramas? Uh, no, uh, these are. <laughs> and there's some more oh, of them downstairs. But yeah. Oh wow. Um, no, these were actually just made by Marks. They were just little wax, uh, not exactly wax, but just really well molded plastic figures. But. I love the Moldorama stuff. I just don't. I don't see it very often. I love it. What's this? Gloppy. Glo that was uh, Kenner's version of Play-Doh, <laughs> but their big selling thing was that it came in the Hanna Barbera molds like that. You see, oh, we had the... you know Secret Squirrel and all those characters, and then had all the characters in here that were too minor to have. Molds of their own, Wally Gator and Touche Turtle and <laughs> Space Ghost. <laughs> people of the forgotten cartoon characters. Forgotten These are cartoons. the ones that, that people don't even remember Pogo and Hazel and Joe Palooka. Now, Pogo was. What's the connection to the Okefenokee Swamp? Well, Pogo lived in the Okefenokee okay. Swamp. I think yeah. there's like a museum yeah. somewhere. Yeah, because because that was what he based the strip on. Uh, I think they've got a recreation of his studio and all of that, but uh, I think Walt Kelly only visited the Okefenokee Swamp a couple of times <laughs> in his life. Oh, and there's a, there's a little pogo toy. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is... And the little Abner. Okay. Stuff, along with... Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Now, it's... it's I'm trying to remember. Sadie Hawkins... Yeah, Sadie Hawkins. Is that from, is that from Little Abner? That's right. Yeah, that was that was how it started. Of course, I think some some colleges still do Sadie Hawkins yeah. days, and they don't even know where the name came from. Yeah, I think the, the holiday is actually more well-known than the character. It's, oh, of course, <laughs> it's yeah. It's based after the schmoo. Uh, of course, oh. you know, all the other hillbilly stuff is on the other side. Oh, <laughs> I got the Beverly Hillbillies yeah. car. Weird doggies. Mighty Mouse. Mm-hmm. It's different looking than the one I remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is with the with the cape on. Right. <laughs> Playing with oh, it. Oh, we got some Caspers down here. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that one back there. And, of course, for people with clown phobias, the bozo <laughs> display is not a good place to be. <laughs> I, I was really, I was, like, really saddened because... My daughter did not know who Bozo was, and that just <laughs> blew really no me away. There's really no reason for kids of today to know who he is. <laughs> is that? I guess it's. I mean, I guess it's not even on anymore. Is no, it's it? been. Um, it's been ten years or more really? since the WGN version was canceled, and that was the the one that people saw all over the country. Okay. You know, of course, all of the our favorite serial characters. You get hungry looking at all of this stuff. <laughs> was this a serial character? Actually, <laughs> he wasn't a serial character, but he was from my favorite Saturday morning show of all time. What's that? Which Kellogg's sponsored. It was Curiosity Shop. I'm not. All right, a Wizard of Oz hand puppets. 
rye, and of course the stuff from the park is down here. Oh, you got stuff from the park? Yeah, there's there's me with Dorothy <laughs> in 1975. Is that goats on the roof? Yeah, that was that was a game that probably was not a a great big seller. <laughs> hey, Paul, there's a goat on the roof. Uh, <laughs> But it's kind of funny that the the whole theme of goats on the roof has actually sort of made a comeback in tourism. You know, yeah, they a, have the one in, in, uh, in Pigeon Forge. There's yeah, it's like a, a, fr there's it's a, like a franchise the now. They have one in Tiger. Oh, is there? There's one in Tiger, Georgia, <laughs> Pigeon Forge, and then Helen, Georgia. They're franchising those goats <laughs> then. But. And then the potato heads where you had to provide your own vegetables. <laughs> right, right. And, of course, all of his different friends there. Frankie so Frank and Fren I always thought Frenchy Fry looked more like a piece of bacon than a French fry. <laughs> so you actually got to get you gotta get a kid playing with a hot dog. Well, no, by this time they came with plastic <laughs> okay, so fruit. Yeah. It's a plastic hot dog. It's That's right. Action. Yeah. <laughs> Sets when it when you had to have a real potato, you know, and all it all it came with was just a a bunch of parts. <laughs> That's funny. The big box and you open it. Just yeah. And this is uh, ready. Kilowatt? Ready kilowatt. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's him. <laughs> For you, you know, because playing with colored mud, uh, but you might get it at one of your birthday parties from uh, some kid whose uh, yeah. parents hated your parents. The little bitty things, I mean, can you imagine how many of these probably ended up in kids' noses and throats over the years? Yeah, they don't make, ki <laughs> they don't make kids' toys that tiny anymore. <laughs> yeah, I always love the old hand puppets like that. So, you know, originally, uh, Big Bird didn't, he didn't look all that good. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, he looked kind of like someone you might tell your kids to stay away <laughs> from. But, and of course, Oscar the Grouch was orange in, in the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at these. Was this Sparkly the Seven Up Elf? I don't know if I, I remember so, that. yeah. <laughs> I think he must have been a Christmas promotion. <laughs> Sadie Hawkins. Okay, there we go. For Sadie everyone Hawkins. that wondered what she looked like, that was her. <laughs> That's hilarious. Down into the cave, it's a whole other world down here. <laughs> like I said, this is where all the holidays live and the grocery store and all oh, the wow. attractions. <laughs> oh, got a piggly wiggly pig. Some original Mountain Dew, and then I guess White Lightning would be the <laughs> the rip off the rip off of Mountain Dew. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is that Piggly Wiggly or is that something else? <laughs> no, actually, that was the uh, the emblem of a of a chain, a local chain of barbecue restaurants, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob Sykes Barbecue. This is from uh, there's Billy Bob from Showbiz Pizza. That's right. Yeah. Rock a Fire Explosion. And the Where's this uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken? This was an old uh, pie display. Oh, so know, they'd like put keep, pies in there? the fried pies warm. And then you got yeah. Colonel's so face in there. It, it looks like Lennon's tomb with <laughs> Colonel Sanders laid out in there. Some more KFC stuff. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the chandeliers, which they used to have those in all of them. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> This is my own baby bed. Oh, yeah? And the photo, that's me on the same mattress with the same stuffed tat in the background oh, so that's it. like i said my my family kept everything <laughs> <laughs> this aisle is the furniture that was in the house when i was growing up this was our breakfast table and and my old high chair and the refrigerator that was in the kitchen and all of that so oh wow look at the clown on that ice cream yeah. <laughs> he was um Believe it or not, he was one of the uh, main kid show hosts up in Detroit. Really? Milky the Clown. <laughs> Milky the Clown. Yeah, sponsored by Twin Pines Dairy. And some of that's on the other side, too. You don't see Tasty Freeze very much anymore, but they had their, they had their own set of characters. Oh, um, this is actually... This is uh, T and F. T and F, yeah. Ice cream. Well, this must, this must be T... In the hand puppet. Yeah. <laughs> that is Little so cool. Tea. And then the tasty, tasty dog. Tasty dog? Right. <laughs> Apparently they maybe tried out a few different mascots over yeah, the years. Yeah, they did. Uh... <laughs> I love the old Florida stuff. It's so cool. All oh, the souvenirs. Yeah. This is all different. You got an orange bird right there. Yeah, yeah. And then... <laughs> 
at the Citrus Tower. Of course, now there's no orange groves anywhere around. Yeah, the I've Citrus actually been. Tower. I've been up there. That's <laughs> just like yeah. condos that you all can you see. see is gated neighborhoods all <laughs> over the place. You were asking about the Moldorama stuff. Those uh, are the other ones that I have there. Here, yeah. Of course, the the mermaid from Winky Wachi and the the white porpoise is the one I got as a kid at Citrus Tower. Yeah, they still actually they actually still have that mold at, at Winky Wachi. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I've not seen the octopus before, and there's a sh looks like a shark jumping out yeah, of there. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I think in your neighborhood, Ghost Town, yeah. that's one of their bumper stickers. They just closed down probably forever. Yeah. Now, is this Rare Rabbit, or who's this? Yeah, the, uh, he's just a uh, an Easter rabbit. Looks like I needed to... Jiggly man actually is supposed to go up and down, but I'm is he just he's covered not, in chocolate or yeah, I think that's what he was supposed to be <laughs> dipping himself in chocolate or something. But he um yeah, let's see if I can A lot of times when it starts getting to be cold weather, this animated stuff doesn't work as well. So would that be just like something in like a like a, like a, a mall or really? yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh they got the uh, black light uh oh, yeah. Halloween masks. <laughs> Jiggle the moose too. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the moose come from? The moose was part of a um, of a display from one of the old stores in downtown Birmingham. Uh, right. Every every Christmas, uh, they had a thing they called the Enchanted Forest, where you got Santa. Now, who's this? Uh, b believe it or not, that was one of our kid shows here in Birmingham was a fellow named Cousin Cliff and on one of the last TV series that he had I was actually the puppeteer and oh, that, really? was the, that was the puppet that the TV station had built. It's actually a caricature of Cliff himself. Oh wow. But we called him Uncle Fuzzy <laughs> and Cliff and I we would do routines where Uncle Fuzzy that What are these are these yeah, that was that was another kid show here in Birmingham, Sergeant Jack, and these were the puppets from his program. Okay. Wilbur the Groundhog and Oscar the Monkey, and everyone who sees Oscar the Monkey thinks he looks like Yoda. Is this like a? Is this from Popeye's Chicken? From Popeye's Fried Chicken, yeah. Back when, <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. The company, their official line is that Popeye's Fried Chicken was not named after Popeye the Sailor. It was named after Popeye Doyle, but that doesn't mean that for 30 years they used Popeye the Sailor as their <laughs> emblem so you can believe who you want to believe about that. It makes Elmer's glue yeah. and that Elmer's glue was named after Elsie the cow's husband, Elmer the bull. Uh, it's just that when, when Borden started making glue they just somehow didn't think that they wanted Elsie the cow to be an emblem for glue so they, <laughs> so they picked her husband, Elmer, and that's where Elmer's glue came from. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. This is a muffler man. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that from? Uh, he was on the base. He's from a the uh, lumberjack restaurant in Mexia, Texas. Wow. So I don't know if you can go to Mexia or Mexia. I don't know how that uh, was pronounced, but you can probably go down there and see if anyone remembers the Lumberjack Cafe. <laughs> yeah, he could be, who knows, he could be repurposed somewhere. Could be, could be. Of course, they were all Moldorama. Oh, these are Moldoramas? Too. Yeah. Oh, Originally, yeah. Originally, they were made for the, uh, it was for the, the World's Fair. World's Fair. And, went, and then, after the World's Fair, Sinclair toured the the big dinosaur statues around the country, and they took the Moldorama machines with them. This is one New York World's Fair. But, that's cool. Uh, that's got a lot of detail on it for a Moldorama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you look at, you know, the actual big boy hamburger was 60 cents. Jeez. <laughs> brother lunch. <laughs> Brer Rabbit's baby brother lunch. Yep. I don't know if that meant you were supposed to eat Br'er Rabbit's baby brother for what? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Let me see. It's for uh, a combination of... Two pureed or junior Gerber food. Baby it's food. Baby food. Yeah. Is there baby food? Yeah. That's, that's the, hilarious. The Br'er Fox lunch was cold turkey and Georgia gar garden vegetables and 
rolls and Uncle Remus corn sticks. <laughs> oh, wow. Sounds pretty good to me. Next part of it. All right, so tell me something. This frog is from the Yoki Finoki ride. Oki yep. Finoki Swamp Ride. It's a is that the original Six Flags Over Georgia? It's a flume ride based on Brer Rabbit. And apparently it actually predates Splash Mountain, so that oh, is yeah. very, very interesting. I had no idea. So wow, I loved that. The Tim Hollis Museum. Very cool. I love, you know, someone me, like me who is obsessed with roadside attractions and Americana and things like that. It really means a lot to me that someone is preserving that, all those souvenirs and things like that. It was beautiful to me. So awesome. Thank you to Tim Hollis. Very gracious host um, inviting me into his home to show me his amazing collection um, he does do tours by appointment please don't show up at his house he lives there um, I'll put his email or contact information um, down below if anyone wants to go on a tour they can set up an appointment um, I appreciate it thank you